Before you start learning React JS, you should definitely know JavaScript. You know, it has been seven years since I am coding in React, and it has been three years since I am actively teaching React to students. Right? I have taught a lot of students, and I have observed that uh, a lot of students need to know basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before they can move and start learning React. Okay? So in this video, I will be covering all the topics that you should know inside JavaScript. before you start learning react if you will cover these topics it will, your react learning journey will become very smooth and it will be very helpful for you and this is the right path to learn and master react js and become a great front end developer in 2024 so basically before you learn react you should be definitely know basics of html and css because html and css is the backbone of all the websites that you make right any web app will you make html and css are the main things that will be rendered onto the dom the major thing is javascript right and the major doubt from the students that i get is how much javascript should i know right so this video is primarily focusing upon these javascript topics that you should know before you can start learning react js now let me just cover these topics one by one and i will tell you how much should you learn inside these topics also as i go ahead in this video i will start from the basics and will tell you the advanced topics also which you should know as a uh, good react developer So the first topic over here is you should know the basics of JavaScript. That is how variables work, right? What is a let variable? What is a const variable? What is a, a var variable, right? How do you define these variables? How these variables are hoisted? How variables work, right? Uh, you should know this basics, right? And uh, you know if you want to learn this, you can just go ahead and watch out Namaste JavaScript. I have covered all of this. The second thing is you should know about functions. right functions is the heart of javascript functions is is the beautiful thing the best thing about javascript is functions everything whatever happens inside javascript happens actually inside a function right so you can't learn javascript without learning functions and functions are the core part of react as well now inside functions you have to note that you should know arrow functions right know what is arrow functions know the syntax of it you should be able to write it the second thing you should know what are higher order functions right just check what are higher order functions so if you want to learn both of them i have also covered these in my free playlist namaste javascript on youtube just go ahead and check it out in my youtube channel now the third thing is arrays and objects right so a lot of things that we will do while building a web app it is about arrays and objects you cannot avoid arrays and objects if you are working with react or any web applications right so you should know how to deal with arrays and objects right you should know when i say arrays and objects you should know how destructuring works right it is an es6 concept note it down right destructuring object destructuring array destructuring rest operator spread operator right these four things right you have to be aware of right you should be able to deal with arrays so these are the four things you should know let me repeat it down object destructuring array destructuring rest operator spread operator these four things you should know you cannot do anything if you don't know how to deal with arrays and objects in javascript the fourth thing you should know is if else and conditions right so basically how do you write if and else cases in uh, javascript and then basically ternary operator and the a uh, conditional rendering right basically the and and operator right so basically it is very important and we use inside react when we build our projects right when i was teaching namaste react i used a lot of conditional rendering a lot of people get confused with the syntax when they see a question mark and a dot dot right so you should know ternary operator and then uh, and and symbol that is the and operator right uh very important and the or operator along with these three things you should also know optional chaining in javascript right now the fifth thing you should know is map filter and reduce function along with a sort function so basically see when you are dealing with arrays and objects so a map function a filter or reduce a sort function is very much right these are the functions which are given by javascript for array operations right you can not avoid it and you know trust me whenever you are writing react map function you should you should be able to write it very fluently right the map function in javascript uh, i have a video on my channel about map filter and reduce go and watch it up right before you start learning react because that will help you a lot in your react journey the sixth thing that you should know is event listeners right so learn about event listeners when i say event listener that means 
क्लिक इवेंट ऑन माउस अप इवेंट ऑन की डाउन इवेंट एंड ऑल दीज इवेंट राइट हाउ डज इवेंट वर्क वेन यू क्लिक ऑन इट हाउ डज दैट इवेंट वर्क राइट यू नो देर आर टू कॉन्सेप्ट इवेंट बबलिंग एंड कैप्चरिंग राइट सो आई हैव मेड दीज वीडियोज ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल राइट गो हैड सर्च फॉर इवेंट बबलिंग on youtube right and check out my video right that would be very helpful for you before you start learning react js because events are the core part of any web application right you have to write buttons and you have to click them so you would definitely need events so you should know events along with events you should also know how set timeout works right set timeout set interval because there are a lot of features that you would build in your application that would need these kind of functionalities and you should know these and all these things are covered in namaste javascript again so you can go ahead and check it out over there on my channel and you know i am not promoting my videos on namaste javascript over here it is just that see everything is available for free on youtube learn it from that playlist or learn it from outside the internet but i am just honestly telling you that you would need this if you want to become a react developer the seventh thing that you should know is callbacks promises very much right so what is callbacks right i started namaste javascript season 2 i covered callback callback hell promises promise functions cover all of this right without promises you cannot make api calls right you should know what is a promise you should know the in depth promise right and then promise apis there are three videos right i think three or four videos in which i have covered callback callback hell promises promise apis right watch those four videos in namaste javascript season 2 right uh, all these episodes and it will help you to understand what is promises without promises right you you cannot go ahead and learn react because very important whenever you will have to make an api call and get the data you should know promises in depth that is very 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 important before you start learning react js and when i say promises that means you should definitely know how fetch function works everything right i have covered everything in those videos go ahead and watch those videos the eighth thing that you should know is async await right i know that pro see async await is kind of like an alternative for promises right it's a new way of handling promises okay it's kind of like a, a sugar coating on top of promises but it's a very good thing lot of modern react code that we write uses async await whenever i teach react to students whenever i take examples whenever i teach in namaste react whenever i build projects i use async await async await is a very good syntax you should definitely know async await before you start writing production ready react code ninth topic is try catch right yes so try catch is an important thing you should know when you are you know when you always are making an api call or writing an async await function or lot of places right so it is for error handling error handling is a major concept whenever you are building a large scale production ready web application in react right uh, whenever i was teaching in namaste react right i used a lot of try catch so that i can catch those errors right i can found bugs in my api calls and then i can handle them properly okay so you should definitely know error handling if you are going to learn react js right so please 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 learn it before you can go ahead and do that where should you learn see i have covered a little bit of try catch inside my async video right async await video but but you can also go ahead and find it out more on the internet uh, i have not made a separate video on try catch but i already have covered that in async await so you can go ahead and watch that video again so these were the nine topics important topics that you should must know before you start learning react js if you know mostly all of them then you can go ahead and successfully start learning react js a time for a promotion right so basically i also have a react js course which is namaste react i will give you the link in the description i have a promo code which is running up right now we have special discounts running in you can learn from there or i am telling you that okay if you don't want to learn from my course it's okay right i am not here to make this video just to sell my course okay learn it from outside but i as a teacher want to tell you that if you are going to learn react js in 2024 then definitely you should know these topics inside javascript you know see wherever you learn from learn and wish you the best in your career and go ahead learn it because react js is the most popular front end library right now if you are a front end developer if you know react there's a huge demand of you in market
Okay, so go ahead, learn it from wherever you wish to. If you want to check out my course, I will give you the link in the description. I have become active on YouTube once again. If you want me to cover more topics around React, around JavaScript, comment down below. I am looking out for topics from you all and I will make more such amazing videos for you all. Thank you for watching.